The great Viking warrior Rollo, also known as Rolf or Roland, among other names, is a historical figure whose life is shrouded in mystery. Rollo is assumed to have been born around 868 AD in either Denmark or Norway, though even these details are not known with certainty due to a lack of written information about him. Rollo's father is thought to have been a nobleman or Jarl, and thus from an early age he was trained to be a great warrior and leader of people. These would prove to be valuable skills during his adventurous life. Tragically, when his father passed away and his brother was murdered, Rollo was forced into exile. To clarify an important detail, let us state that Rollo was not the brother of Ragnar Lothbrok, Lodebrok, an old Norse, as no factual evidence exists to back such a claim. During his exile, Rollo became a mercenary in foreign lands and eventually arrived in England, looking for a lord to serve. It is assumed that during this period he gained the nickname Rollo the Walker because no horse could carry his tremendous size, weight, and strength. There he formed a bond with Guthrum, the Danish Viking chieftain, and also became a part of the Great Heathen Army. Guthrum and the Great Heathen Army were defeated by Alfred the Great at the Battle of Eddington in 878 AD. Soon after, Guthrum was baptized as Athelstan, and his army went onwards to East Anglia. There, Athelstan began his reign as King of East Anglia in 880 AD. It is said by various researchers that witnessing Guthrum's conversion to Christianity and its customs would later make Rollo less opposed to Christianity than the majority of pagan Vikings. At this time, Rollo would begin forming his own following of warriors. Using cunning tactics, they captured Rouen in northern France around 876 AD. It is thought by various researchers that Rollo used this area as a base for conducting raids while increasing his presence in the region. This area had been subject to continuous Viking raids during a period when West Francia lacked sufficient capabilities to defend against such attacks. In 885 AD, Rollo led his following to meet Siegfried for a planned invasion of Paris. They were joined by other Vikings from various locations to form a huge attack force. They began their invasion in northern France, sacking and pillaging along a terrifying path of devastation towards Paris. When the Vikings arrived at Paris in November, they placed it under siege. This marked the beginning of an arduous and bloody struggle. Following months of various unsuccessful tactics by the Vikings, King of West Francia Charles the Fat eventually encircled them in October 886 AD. However, rather than attacking them, the king allowed these Vikings to sail past Paris and onwards to raid Burgundy, which was in revolt. Following this Paris siege, little is known about Rollo and his activities. However, raids in northern France by Vikings likely persisted. Then, early in the 10th century, Rollo once again seemed determined to increase his Viking presence in the area around Rouen. At last, the French king was moved to act on this aggression, and in 911 AD, Rollo was defeated at the Siege of Chartres by the French army. However, instead of offering the usual terms of paying these Vikings to leave the area, West Francia King Charles the Simple made a different offer to Rollo. In return for the lands around the mouth of the Seine and Rouen, Rollo and his followers would guard this territory against future Viking invasions and convert to Christianity. After thoughtful consideration, Rollo eventually agreed to these terms. Various researchers say Charles the Simple was shrewd in this action because this territory would act as a buffer for his kingdom, helping to preserve it during a vulnerable period. In addition, to seal the agreement, Charles' daughter Gisela was offered for marriage to Rollo. Furthermore, under the Treaty of saint clair sur in 911 AD, Rollo pledged allegiance to West Francia King Charles the Simple and became known by the Christian name Robert. But when it came to the condition of kissing the foot of the king, Rollo refused, ordering a subordinate to do the deed instead. When they attempted to lift the king's foot, he fell to the ground. Nevertheless, after this oath, Viking attacks up the Seine River came to an end and Paris was saved. As for Rollo, he began restoring, improving, and reforming his new territory, which would become the Duchy of Normandy. In time, Rollo began to divide the land among his chieftains, working to restore law and order to this territory. Eventually, Normandy became France's most orderly region of the period. When Charles the Simple lost support from his nobility, he was deposed and replaced by Robert I of France. Though Rollo remained true to his oath to Charles and fought with him at the Battle of Soissons in 923 AD. Their alliance did kill the new King Robert I of France at this battle, though they lost the fight. A short time later, Charles the Simple was captured. He died in the year 929 AD while imprisoned in a tower. During this period of French struggles, Rollo set about expanding Normandy. 
In 924 AD, he was conceded the areas of Bassin and Maine by the successor to Robert I of France. Rollo's son William Longsword succeeded Rollo to rule Normandy in 927 AD. William Longsword's mother was Papa of Bayeux, who is assumed to have most likely been either the daughter of Count Berenger II of Neustria or a common woman captured by Rollo at Bayeux between 886 to 889 AD. According to some historic accounts, as Rollo neared his passing, he began losing control of his mental faculties. It was noted that at one point he reverted to his pagan upbringing by sacrificing 100 Christian prisoners to the Norse god Odin. Then, in what appeared to be a case of conflicting spiritual beliefs, he also gave 100 pounds of gold to the clergy, honoring his Christianity. Rollo, a Viking leader who formed the foundation for the Duchy of Normandy, died sometime between the years 928 and 932 AD. This territory would eventually be known as Normandy, or Land of the Northmen, by the Franks. His descendants would not have the same conflicts with faith that Rollo did, becoming committed Catholics within a couple of generations. They even adopted Frankish dialect while dropping the use of Norse by the end of the 10th century. In time, through intermarriage with neighboring lands, Rollo's descendants increasingly assumed Frankish customs. Still, the French regarded them as Normans. Normans would play an increasingly important role in European history as decades moved forward. Frankish war tactics of heavy cavalry and castle building would be used to great advantage by the Normans in their later conquests. These included the accomplishments of William the Conqueror. From his land of Normandy, he would invade England to become its king in 1066 AD. Frankish customs served the Normans well in feudal politics, making the Duchy of Normandy a solidly governed and prosperous region. Thank you for supporting us at Medieval to Modern. Please be sure to watch another episode shown at the end of this video. Also be sure to like, subscribe, and comment. I wish you good tidings as we remember that sharing knowledge has been a noble deed throughout the ages.